Hi Aquarius, this is Shah speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and if you're a Cyber Angel, welcome. Oh, you've been dwindling a little bit of late and I'm missing you. Um, you used to be the top notch with Capricorn, <laughs> rather the first two. Um, well, I've changed it a bit around so uh, the, the video or the zodiac that has the most likes is number one now and you've come on the 10th place or the 11th place and you had n uh, 18 likes I wonder what it is you do not like uh, perhaps it, I should be more positive and what do you like the best about the readings let me know how can I twig it what would you like to see let me know are you going to join me tomorrow night um, uh, tomorrow night I will be discussing the competition if you've got any if you have joined the competition or if you are going to join the competition um, because you can win the Shadowlands uh, a brand new deck you have the choice if you're the winner between the vice versa or the um, Shadowlands tarot deck um, uh, and the person in the second place the second winner will have uh, the one that's left over because the first winner can choose between the first two decks and then the second one will have vice versa or the Shadowlands and the third winner will have 20 minutes free reading now if you haven't joined in think about it it's all about making a vision board if you have problems or issues or questions about it then please join me tomorrow night this I'm doing the nine card spread that I do in a uh, one-to-one uh, -one reading but I'm going to do the introduction at the end of the video so please listen to the information at the end and please let other people know that there is a competition that they can win a free deck it would be lovely to see you all back again and to see that you have been listening to the videos and I've tweaked and tweeted the um, readings a bit because I do an extra card and now I'm also um, in, in cooperating um, the tarot and the chakra but it goes deeper than that but have a look at the review on this book because if you are a therapist or a healer or a yoga teacher or a dietist uh, or you do Reiki then and, or if you work with chakras then this book is quite uh, fascinating to have um, belong bes beside your therapies I will take the querent card as my uh, chakra card and this could be the querent card or it could be the overall energy of the week I will be making more videos next week with regards to um, chakra meditation and after the romance readings for next month so as you know this is the overall energy or the queer card Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday for those that have just landed on the channel welcome new viewers I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'm using the corner cards as the clarifying card for the three cards or the three cards to clarify the corner card you can um, use both vice versa and I've got the mystical shaman uh, oracle card here and I will go into that as well now you know that I usually work with the angelic chakra but this is uh, the, uh, the chakras as a Reiki master your first card is the five of wands and a lot of readers say this is di uh, disagreements arguments but I don't I see it as the competition there is competition around you perhaps in love perhaps at work perhaps in your hobby in the area of your hobby perhaps you are one of a team in football and you don't want to be the goalkeeper but you want to be the captain or you want to be center back whatever um, there is competition around you it is healthy to be competitive it keeps you on your toes Aquarius 
So there you are. Don't be afraid of competition. These are just young boys in the traditional deck from Wired, uh, um, Rider White. Um, it is five boys, teenage boys, playing with sticks, buttons, having a competition. Wow. So that could be your you. <laughs> uh, it's a, a playful, exciting thing to do. Not to see who's the strongest or the best, but it keeps you on your toes, like I said. Now, you have the Ace of Cups. Perhaps there is competition in love. Perhaps you've got more choices than one. Perhaps there are more people interested in you. Okay, Aquarius. The Ace of Cups is love. Passion. This could be a real love or this could be a, 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 a love affair or passion for a hobby or work because the cups stand for love, passion, nurturing, caring, sexy and sensuality. So the ace that could be a Cancer, could be a Scorpio or a Pisces that is interested in you Aquarius. That is beautiful. Okay. Sorry, I'm editing at the same time. Um, and I want to get all the readings out as quick as possible. Because I don't think it's fair if everybody else has their reading. And you're waiting for your reading to come out. Okay, Aquarius. You have number seven from the big arcana. Again, the, uh, the chariot. The chariot represents... Uh, cancer. So that could be a predominant, predominantly coming forward now is cancer. Okay, you have victory. You have public recognition. There you are. Beautiful. You've got victory and public recognition. You might be going on holiday. Perhaps you're going on holiday with a cancer. Perhaps you're moving home or you're moving in together. You've got the two people, you've come together, okay, although in the chariot, in the traditional way, you see one going that way and one going that way, but I feel with this one that you are coming together, you're making your own web, and luck is on your side. So, you're not only, you're not only moving home perhaps, or going on holiday, but you might be moving in together. Um, and you're going onwards and upwards. You might even get a promotion if it's with regarding to work or you might get an offer from a cancer. How lovely is that? Your wish is coming true on Friday as you've got the Nine of Cups. That is the wish card besides the star. Something is coming to an end. Perhaps an emotional, difficult emotional time and you're going into a beautiful, definitely balanced emotional time. Your wish is coming true. Well, then you means that you are in balance. Wow. Like I said, public recognition. Luck is on your side. And, um, Aquarius, this is the month of Cancer and the seventh month. So something is definitely going on with seven, the number seven. And it's also the seventh, uh, the cancer is the seventh month, so she, they have the seventh sign, although it is the fourth house. You will understand if you do astrology or tarot. Okay, on the, at the weekend you have the king of swords. Now here you can see he's writing. This could be signing contracts. This could be noting things down for your itinerary when you travel, perhaps, or um, that what you must get or um, before you go, uh, if you go on holiday. Perhaps you are getting married. It could be in the magist magistrate. It could be an official person. As the swords stand for wisdom, communication. Judicial and municipal uh, municipalities and institutions. Well, marriage is an institution. You might be signing your marriage certificate 
this weekend. Or it could be contracts for work or anything else. You might be writing a book. You might be sending a letter. The King of Swords is Gemini. But don't exclude Libra or Aquarius yourself. So you will be, you are appearing as an air sign. The King of Air is Gemini, but it could be you. You might be feeling right up there in your element. Definitely because your wish is coming true and because you've got public recognition. You are the champion. You are a champion in your own right. Perhaps you've won this competition. Wow, that's magic. Okay, you've been honest and you're keeping it clear and deep. you're looking at the details on how to improve your, your, your competition, to improve on your competition. That's a better way of saying it. Wow, this is really great. So, you're going to be the king, the victor. Whoa, nice one. Now, the first card you have is the lovers. Again, Gemini. So, Gemini is quite predominant in your reading. You might be in love with a Gemini. But you, you might fall in love with a Gemini. Because they are an air sign just like you. So, they will understand you. The Gemini are very flexible. So, love is in the air. And the cups stand for sexuality, sensuality. So this is really a, 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 a love affair or a relationship. Yes, exploding just like the tower. The co you will beat the competition, definitely, with all these cards here. You are exploding. You are letting that passion rip. Something is being ripped because you've got the tower. An unexpected change. Perhaps you are single now and all of a sudden, boom! There is your Gemini. There is your Cancer. There is your new love. You couldn't make a decision, perhaps. So, the Divine and the Angels gave you this change. When one door closes, twenty will open. Your wish is coming true. You've beaten the competition. You've been honest. You stayed st on the straight and narrow. And more enticing and more sexy than anybody else. You've got the Nine of Cups. Now you've got two Nines. The Angels are here, again, confirming you that they are giving you this change. change. Again, the Nine of Cups. I'm using two different decks, so that's why it's being able to show up together. And very rarely happens. This is perhaps the second or the third time something like that is happening. So, boom, your wishes are. So, more than one wish will come true. Your wish for a new love with a Cancer. And to beat the competition. To make Cancer wake up and see that you're standing there and that you want them okay that you're real and you're not airy fairy because you're an air sign you're just as caring and nurturing with them as them okay because that's what the cups stand for but when we fall in love we are nurturing we are caring it's just trying to beat the competition and keep yourself in balance and be clear on how you feel. Okay, now the moon card. Again, the moon card represents a water sign, Pisces. And I said to you, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Well, this is your Pisces. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your higher self. Listen to new ideas listen to your intuition your energy might be uh, more sensitive you might be more spiritual you might be dreaming a lot more something has become clear to you okay you have learned from the past you know how to deal with change sudden change 
it's like water and air they are they are two life forces we can't do without air and we because if we don't breathe then we die and if we don't have water we the water is the second place we could do without food but we need air and water those are the like water goes where nothing else can go with the flow you know that wow you are on the right path but remember there's a dark side on the moon there are things that you don't know and you will find out because the king of swords cuts straight through to the core and gets to the nitty gritty and gets the truth Okay, he stands for justice, wisdom and communication so learn from your Gemini or your Libra or Aquarius and you know that to be honest and clear and when you form a partnership don't hold any secrets back that might come back to haunt you so get an, a real perspective I love this reading, it's really magical. It makes you feel like a queen, these beautiful photos. Okay. So listen to your intuition. And you you if you are involved with a cancer, then remember it's Cancerian time. So this is a loving, passionate, nurturing time. Oof, I just see fireworks boom happening for you. Now I'm going to the mystical shaman and you've got the curse and I'm not not meaning the monthly curse <laughs> because we all I'm also reading for the men the curse could be that you are always having to deal with competition and falling in love or that you might not see yourself as wonderful as others do that is a curse on its own again 14 a 5 so you've got two fives you've got two nines the angels are with you they are bringing you back into balance nine an ending of misery you're back in balance because where there is an ending there is a beginning the essence the curse refers to the limiting stories of our ancestors and the karma from former lifetimes that preordains the events of our lives okay. it is the source of negative patterns and it can show you up as a disease a destructive force or a blockage of our creative energy creative energy competition keeps you on your toes keeps you moving trying to improve the curse holds us hostage to a false story that we confuse for reality get clarity recognize the original wound that is playing out in our life can heal can heal it yes so get to the truth the task or the invitation is it is time to recognize the source of your limitations so with competition you don't you might not see your limitations or what is holding you back that's why you might need an advisor and get clarity get a coach if you're in sports for example he, they will tell you what your limitations are did your grandparents live with a mindset of secrecy scarcity sorry did you inherit genes for the heart disease well you've got a lot of water and that is the heart emotions were you a slave or a master in a past life this karmic legacy is ready and waiting to be seen to be untangled and to be released honor the players and their stories Forgive everyone and everything. Craft a new life 
course for yourself. Well, I think that is what you have been wishing and you're doing it. You have beaten the competition. You are starting anew. Might be unexpectedly, but you've been wishing for it, for this new beginning. You've got clarity and you've got victory. You are going for what your heart needs and wants. You are listening to your intuition. So go for it. Now we've got the five of wands. Okay, the five of fire. And in this book, I'll just show you a few things. This is the tarot card. And sometimes they've got four or five signs, sometimes two or three. But you have the element here, and the element is Leo. Then we have the touch, and that is um, uh, the touch is also a form of therapy or belief. Uh, I'm not really into that. I don't know too much about it, but it is light or of the body. So a solar plex, I think. That's that sign. Then we have the. Um, anatomy, the planet. So I'll just uh, I'm still learning, so bear with me. That is a planet. You've got the planet and then you've got the astronomy. That's the planet. And the planet is um, Capricorn so you've also got Capricorn in here so that's earth that's earthing this card okay that's the earth bit in this card and then we have your air sign the air sign being Leo that's not your you uh, Aquarius but it is in this card that's the fire in the and the action in the cards and then we've got your chakra but your element is leo and the t um the planet is uh, capricorn just let me see sorry i'm still learning bear with me now what i'm trying to show you is you've got the major arcana the minor arcana and the aces and the court but I've taken a minor arcana card because that's the querent card and the overall energy so this is the element this is the element so I was right then you've got the type of touch then you have the planet and that the planet is um, what did I say the planet was um, Saturn, and that is order, form, uh, discipline, fear, contraction, and transcendent. So that is all in just this little. And if you're an astrologer, then you will know how to know more about this than me. And then you have the um, astrological sign that is involved here and it should be um, Aquarius so I'll show you here you are that's Leo so the card is in Leo not Aquarius that's where I get mixed up I'm reading for Aquarius but you have Leo which is fixed fire and then you get a description as well that is what Leo means and this is what I mean you really do need the book because it is a lot of information and I can only show it to you and it's much easier to do of course in real life or when you're on one on one so um, also the um, uh, the five of fire um, uh, is action okay 
So the Fife of Fire is striving an amusing challenge. They are the competition, the challenge. Uh, quality. Sometimes you struggle. That is the quality. There's so much information and the planet is Saturn. Reversed, it means antagonistic. So if it but you are not antagonistic, you're only positive. You're being kept on your toes. Uh, you might be though sparing and anxious about things. Don't worry. Don't worry so much. Amu uh, quality, amusing challenge. Competition. The planet is Saturn, order, form, disciplined, fear, contraction, transcendence. You are transcending to your wish and to victory. Advice. Lighten up and don't take your disputes so seriously. They are there to make you question and strengthen you. Your own convictions. You are at a turning point. Learn and strategize. That is also what the fire signs do. Awesome. Okay, the story. This card reminds me of Capodra, the Brazilian martial art. It consists of quick movements that use leg sweeps and gymnastic type moves. Caporia look looks like a very active dance to me. It is amusing and playful, but takes skill, timing and spontaneity. And that is what you get in challenges. And also um, competition. The five of fire strives and sustains. It is about mastering or mastering the courageous outcome and overcome obstacles. The five of fire is clever, forceful, strategic. It wants to release pent up energy. The five of fire isn't to be taken too serious. It betokens an amusing challenge. So that is your uh, chakra card and the chakra, like I said, sorry, I'm too quick, typical Gemini. Sorry, my darlings. for fire is the, um, the emotional chakra the solar plex I think the fire element yes the solar plex now that is the solar plex chakra so let your emotions out like I like I just said it wants to release pinned emotions so you want to burst out like the lightning. Go for it, Aquarius. Let that love out. Let that passion out. Go for it. Open your um, solar plex chakra. And the solar plex chakra is the uh, chakra of emotions. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading. And I hope you will join me tomorrow night, Friday night this week, to discuss any issues that you might have if you've joined the competition um, with making a vision board. Now for the new ones there is a competition going at the end of each video you have an end screen and you will find the video on the competition. If you would like to win the Shadowlands that is free of charge and then join the competition. The first person gets the choice between a used deck of mine in good order, vice versa, or the choice of a new Shadowlands uh, tarot deck uh, with compliments of the publishers, Shiva, Red Feather um, publishers, and uh, the second place uh, will uh, get what is left if the if you have the Shadowlands and you want the vice versa and you win, then uh, 
the uh, second place will get the Shadow Lands, and the third place uh, winner will receive a fr 23 minute reading. So join in the competition and if you have and you find some issues with it or suggestions then please join us tomorrow night for the discussion on life. And if you're new please subscribe and hit uh, the bell on all then you'll be notified when we go live as I go live with all my cyber angels on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I also give away free cards, but not tomorrow night. If there is time, I might. And um, um, I also go Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I give away free cards and I answer questions uh, that are supported by donations, super chats or super stickers. Thank you for uh, letting me... Uh, give uh, trusting me f to give you a reading and if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one, then you can find the information below the video in the description box or click on the right hand corner on that white circle with the eye on it then it will take you to my website and there you can find more information and also um, Brenda tarot readings I am promoting her she's promoting me because she is a uh, um, also a Reiki master and a reader and uh, she's a good colleague of mine and we do work with each other from time to time so take care and uh, see you in the next reading that will be most probably either the daily or the romance reading as I'm going to start doing them tomorrow and after that I will be doing meditation or sh uh, chakra meditation videos so have a come back and have a look at those. Take care and God bless.